everybody and welcome back to the channel. I got my car mount up. It's working this time. And so that means we are going to do a little bit of a driving tour. So this time I, since I'm kind of close to it, I'm going to take you by where my grandma used to live and I'm going to show you places I used to go to all the time. Because I grew up coming down here all the time because both my grandparents live down here, and I'll show you where they both live. But we're going to go by my grandma's house. My maternal grandmother. And she lived in Virginia Beach since 1966. Until she passed away in 2014. So, we're going to go see that. I'm going to show you a few things along the way. And then, I'm going to take you by where my nano lived. And that's in Norfolk. So, I'm going to show you things along the way as that as well. So, we're going to get started and let's go all right guys see if i can do this this time without this overheating <laughs> but we're starting here this is where it's the shopping center where i volunteer at i'm going to show you where the cat rescue is right now but first i'm going to go around to the end because they're moving down here so currently there's no cats in there and they also changed the door code they got a whole new door code thing and i just haven't gotten new code yet because I don't see the reason right now because there's no cats in there, so there's really nothing to do. <laughs> so I'm like, I just come by and make sure everything's okay and, you know, and yes, there's already flowers and junk on the trees. I love spring, but I hate the allergies. Anyway, so we're going to go look at that. I'm going to show you where I think they're going to be. They're going to be down here somewhere. They're just moving down here farther. You see where I'm pointed right now at the camera? That's where they're moving down there and somewhere in this area of the shopping center it's going to be much bigger and it's going to be much better because we're going to have separate rooms for everything so look it up it's on facebook little roar cat rescue is where i volunteer here in virginia beach and they're awesome they're a local nonprofit. they rely on donations from everything food litter toys treats medicines uh, donations as in money they have lots of charity events to raise money so they have that money so when the cats need to go to the vet they they will have that money to pay because sometimes they don't have that money to pay so they have to pay out of pocket i know but anyway yeah they go around and they do tnr trap neuter release but they also rescue cats they will test their temperament first some cats are just too feral so that's why they tnr some cats they seem feral because they're scared so they'll bring them in and they'll work with the cats and they've done this with so many cats where well, they work with the cats and eventually the cats become big old softies basically so they've adopted out a lot of cats and they also have some cats at my pet smart that i go to well i haven't been to lately because i actually get my food at walmart now <laughs> but i used to get it at pet smart every now and then we'll go to pet smart but my pet smart that's closest to me they have cats there so that's cool and by the way this time i have the ac on the car but i have it on low so i think it's fine so yeah so they have cats there and most of the cats they're either at the pet smart or they're in foster homes they have a lot of fosters and those are also all of us are volunteers the ones that work at the den the ones that do pet smart the ones that are fosters they have ones that transport back and forth to, for vet appointments you know and they have clinic every Saturday just about where the fosters and even r r people who have adopted from them and whatnot can bring their cats up and they'll do, do their shots and their microchips and stuff. So yeah, they have all that stuff in there. So fosters do come by and pick up uh, stuff, items that they need and such. But yeah, they got a whole new like door lock for some reason. So I don't know the new code just yet. And like I said, I really don't see the reason for me to have it right now because again, there's no cats in there. So there's not really anything much to do. So enough rambling about that. Let's get started. I'm going to go down here and then we're going to come back up the other way. And then I'm going to show you where my grandma lived since 1966 to 2014. All right, here we go. I'm actually going to go around this way and then I do want to show you something across the street though i might go over there real quick because i do want to talk about it but we'll see if i can get over there i'll go over there anyway so i'm just going to see what this blue truck does we're just going to follow them 
this is the end of the shopping center. It's actually pretty big. I'm going to show you a few things and then we're going to head on. But I'm just going to go around this way because it's easier. But over here, see it goes all the way to the end, but I'm not sure which one of these. That one still has four lease in it. So I'm thinking the ones that still have the four lease signs in it is not the place. But I'm not really sure which is the place. But one of these over here is going to be where the new den is. Now, the den is really small right now. It's technically a storefront. These are all storefronts, but where the den is going to be, it's going to be a lot more space and they're going to have separate rooms for everything. Like we're going to have a separate room for the free roaming cats. There's going to be a separate room for quarantines for sick cats. There's going to be a separate room for mother cats and kittens. And, you know, and then everything else will be in the back. We'll have like laundry and the, and the sinks and everything. Okay, that might be it because you can see how shattered it is. And they said that that was, oh, I think that's just design. It looks shattered. It has a weird design. I don't know if that's shattered design, but there's a place where they're going to be. Somebody or something ran into the front or someplace when the windows. And they had to get that fixed. So they were waiting. They had to get that fixed. And they had to do like all the legal stuff with the rent, of course. And they had to do all the inspections and stuff like that. So I haven't really heard much updates on that recently. But I'm waiting. And you see this right here where it says the den. That's the current one right there. And there's no one in there, of course, because there's no reason. But yeah, they got a new door lock thing there with new code. And I just don't know the new code yet. But that's just where they're keeping stuff right now. And there is a box on the bench. Somebody dropped off something. It's supposed to go in the bench. But I can't get in, so but yeah somebody will get that anyway yeah people will put donations in the bench and that sun is extremely bright <laughs> and i do not have my sunglasses out so there oh well i can find my sunglasses right now but they're over here somewhere anyway but yeah that's where i volunteer and i'm just going to be moving down there somewhere at some point but i'm gonna like the new den it's just i just don't see a reason that i need to be up there like I usually do. I come up here, I just check to make sure everything's okay. And I can't really bring anything inside right now, so. But we're going to get out of this and then I'm gonna try and, as this person decides to go right in front of me, people here are crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go try and go across the street real quick and then I'll show you what I wanna show you over there and then we'll get to my grandma's house and to where she lived. Yeah, this is just a big old shopping center. And um different ones, different shops and whatnot. But as we get up here, you'll see more people coming out. Why? Because there's a Dollar Tree up here. <laughs> I've been in this Dollar Tree, it's not bad, but I have my favorite one. And my favorite one actually just went all self-checkout, except for like one register or whatever the person. <laughs> like. <laughs> and they did that fast because I wasn't there that long ago and they still had the regular checkout lines and you know all that and it's completely redone but that's Dollar Tree right there yeah it's been completely redone though anyway this over here was farm fresh you can see the label scar I think yeah you can see it see you see the label scar it still says farm fresh you can completely read it yep that was a cool grocery store I used to find some really good cheese there. It's a wheel of cheese. It was small, and it's called Farmer's Cheese, and I have not been able to find it at all. But I've only been able to find it the one that I used to go to with my grandma that was right up not far from where she lived. She went to one, and they had what they call a cheese island, and um, that's where I found it. It was a really good cheese, and it really good with the wheat crackers. <laughs> I missed that cheese. Anywho, so we're going to go. I don't know if I can get across this year or not because I went back the way I usually come. But I really want to show you this, so I'll try. This just takes a minute because it's a pain in the butt. Because you gotta wait for the light, you gotta wait for the traffic. And actually, I can go. So we're gonna do this real quick. I wanna show you something and tell you about it. So we're gonna turn up here. And then I'm just gonna go into this across the street real quick. There's a food line, but that's not what I wanna show you. <laughs> just give me a minute. Yeah, the Farm Fresh is closed recently, which was a bummer because that was a really good grocery store. When I first moved here, we had a Farm Fresh and a Kroger right across the street. I mean, right down the street from where I lived. And so, the Kroger was kind of dirty, but the 
farm fresh and eating. When I went when that farm fresh, I found waffle crisp cereal and I hadn't found it for, for since. But then, a little long ago, I found it at Walmart. Okay, see that's the food line over here. This is what I want to show you over here. You know they have a truck. I'm just gonna drive around real quick. But okay, let's go. What I want to show you is this. It's over here. I'm just gonna drive around real quick. Here we go. See this place right here? Oh, that building. Can you believe that used to be a Sonic? I had no idea it was even here because in the summertime, believe it or not, all these trees blocked this. So I had no idea it was here until one time I was driving by and I was looking over and I'm like, there's a Sonic, but it was closed and it was abandoned. And so there was like nothing there. They had no like, you know, they had taken all the order screens and all the pull-ups and everything and it was like trash and they had no trespassing signs all over it. But for some reason, I look over here and I was at Longo and they're redoing it. Like they repainted it. They took that all the where the drive up were, you know, because they still have the poles and stuff. They took it all down and they repainted it and now it's just sitting empty. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. <laughs> but yeah, if you can believe that, that was a Sonic. That for the, long, for the longest time, I had no idea it was there. But yeah, it was abandoned when I found it. But like I said, all the trees in the summertime, I it up. So now we're going to go on to my grandma's house and so that I do not overheat this phone. I'm actually going to come back when I'm closer to there. Jeez. Ignore that guy. Okay, we're back. So, I am right before we are going to head into the direction of where my grandma lived. So, we're going to get on this road up here. It's called Shore Drive. Alright? I'm going to show you everything. There used to be a thrift store for the Local SBCA, by the way. <laughs> it's not thrift store, but I can't tell what it's for now. Anyway, we're gonna um, go back up here and get back on the road. And turn back on the camera. So, I've been in Arby's plenty of times. This thing, I swear. Oh, you can kind of see the Arby's. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. It's like the phone's too heavy or something. But it works. Yeah, sorry about that thing in the picture. I don't know how to get that out of the picture, <laughs> to be honest. Anyway. But yeah, I've been in that Arby's plenty of times. So. Here we go. Alright, so this here is Shore Drive. Route 60, if you will. You're done. Now, the stoplight up here, that road is independent. And you can take that all the way to the town center. There's like downtown Virginia Beach. There's a an abandoned KFC on Independence that I've been wanting to film. They did the same thing they did to mine. They painted it all white. I have no idea why there's so much traffic on that way. Anyway, I have no idea why they painted it all white. <laughs> it I have, I have no idea, but yeah, I do and to eventually film that KFC. I filmed mine, but it looked like they were doing something to it. Anyway, so when we get up here, I want to show you something else. A particular interest. This is all like Navy base housing and stuff. See Little Creek Navy base over here? That's where my grandpa was stationed. And so I've actually been on that base. I've been to the Navy Exchange with my grandma. She used to go to the Navy Exchange and the commissary. And there's Boone Clinic, which is like the on base pharmacy. And she would get some of their prescriptions from there as well. The other she would get from Rite Aid. I'll show you her Rite Aid when we get there. Okay. So. Up here. This is an awesome little shopping center up here. I'm going to show you two things. Well, actually, probably three, like three, but there's a really cool bookstore in there called AFK Books. I love that place. It's funny, in there, there's a Dollar Tree and a Tesla who doesn't know how to go. Jackass. Anyway. 
as I was saying, there's a Dollar Tree and a Dollar General right next to each other in there, and I thought that was strange. That used to be a waffle breakfast place, and all my stuff just flew. <laughs> Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you was up here. That's my closest Kroger, if you can believe it. I've been in that Kroger so many times. And there's a apartment complex around the corner there, over there. It's called Victoria Place. That's where my Nana lived. That was the second place she lived in after her house. crazy today. <laughs> anyway, we had the craziest drivers here. Now it's 35, so we got to go a little bit slower. But anyway, that car washed up there. I've been there plenty of times. They're not the best. This is a nice area over here. There's a park back there. And my, me and my, my grandma and I used to refer to it as the new park because it was built back in the mid, late 90s, mid 90s, something like that. And it was a new park. Taste is good, but they're expensive. They make sandwiches and stuff. But yeah, that park is okay. I've been there like once or twice. Anyway, so we refer to that as new park. Why? Because I'll show you when we get to our neighborhood, there's this walking path that goes two ways. One of them kind of goes towards the beach. I've never been down that way, but they call it Seashore National Park, and that's like the Bay Area, Bay Side. And the other way is where we would walk down. About halfway or so down that walking path on that direction, there was this little park, and we used to call it the Old Park. <laughs> they had like the metal the monkey bars and the metal slide and the swings and the little things you sat on and you bounce back and forth. <laughs> I forget what they call those, but yeah, they had all the, like the old jungle gym equipment and stuff. And I remember going on it one time. I tried to go into monkey bars, and I grabbed it, and I didn't know the bar was loose, so I fell right down on the old butt. <laughs> anyway, so we're getting ready to go over the Lesnar Bridge here in a moment. When you get to a point, they usually refer to this as like North End of Virginia Beach. But, see this bridge coming up is Lesnar Bridge. Seriously, why are we stopping? There are way too many people on this road right now. They're stopped on the bridge. Why are there so many cars today? I have no idea. What is going on? It's not Friday, it's Tuesday. I swear. So now we're all, this is Lesnar Bridge, by the way, and that thing up there, that sculpture actually lights up at night. This used to be so different. They actually redid this bridge not that long ago, but still. Anyway. So we're a little bit stuck on the bridge right now. For some reason, there is a way too many cars, and I have no idea why. So, yeah, give me a moment to get over the bridge. I'll show you on the way back. If you look in the right direction, you can actually see the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel from here. I've been over that one time so far.
I haven't the slightest idea why we're going so slow. I swear it's Tuesday, it's not Friday. <laughs> I swear. I promise it's usually not like this. I don't <laughs> have any idea why everybody's coming to Virginia Beach today. <laughs> That way's fine. I don't know what's with this way. Um, and we're getting there slowly. Oh, I'm actually getting a headache now. These people are irritating. Anyway. There's just way too many cars and a stoplight, and I have no idea why there are so many cars. Okay, now, Bubba's is right over there. That's a seafood place. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. This place over here says Mason's Lobster Roll. If you can believe it, it actually used to be a place called Sugar Shack Donuts before that. And before that, if you can really believe it, it used to be a Starbucks. <laughs> wow. What even? <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take, unfortunately. I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. It is not usually like this, I swear. <laughs> Do not go by the schools right now. <laughs> I think everybody's getting out of school and such. Well, we're kind of stuck in, and I'm not sure why. We're not that far from my grandma's house, actually. That license plate says go topless. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> right. There are so many vanity plates in the state. Uh, people are extremely creative. I'll give them that. Anywho. Yeah, I have no idea. Hello, going. <laughs> and I really have no idea why we're going this slow. See this chicken place up here, Bobo's? They have really good chicken. They're one of my favorites. They also make their own ice cream and local produce and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. We make everything from scratch. Yeah, they do. This gets really good too. So some mac and cheese. Anyway. I promise you, I have no idea why there is so much traffic. <laughs> I'm getting there as fast as I can. <laughs> there are plenty of stoplights, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs>
stopped in another light. <laughs> yeah, figured that out. Okay, light's green. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> All right. So, there's a place called a uh, famous Uncle Al's hot dogs over there. They're pretty good. There's a bank up here. It used to be Sun Trust. Now it's made <laughs> That's interesting. I'd film that eventually. We'll have to see what happens. Sorry, I think it went out of focus again. I do not know why this thing won't say focus. <laughs> I can't really unfocus it. I can't really focus it at the moment, but there it goes. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps on focusing. Anyway, okay, now I think the traffic's finally opened up some. Whew. On the way back, I'm going to show you a couple places and then. Up here, when we get to it, I'll show you it in just a few minutes. We're finally on our way here. I mean, the whole area is what they call Bayside, but you see the shopping center up here? Alright. That food line, that was my grandma's food line. And that Rite Aid, that was her Rite Aid. And that bank back there, if you saw it for a second, that has been many banks. I first remember it being a Signet Bank, and then it was First Union, and then it was Wachovia, and now it's Wells Fargo. It's been Wells Fargo for years now. <laughs> yes, many, many banks. Okay, anyway, now we're finally gonna get there. <sighs> so you come down here, and the bay is over to the left. <sighs> so you keep going straight, you get to the ocean front. I will talk about that another day. So, why are we stopping again? Are you kidding me right now? Well, I was almost there, but I have What in the going on is going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Like, for real, we're like completely stuck. <laughs> Oh, what? And there's a school bus. Did somebody hit a school bus? <laughs> what? Now we're stuck and I gotta get over somehow. Come on, people, move it. <laughs> Great. That's perfect. <laughs> there is some kind of crash involving a school bus up here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this on camera. <laughs> it still be interesting. Uh, stop that. <laughs> there. Okay. Now, it, it likes to go to focus for a minute. We can get just past this, so I should be able to go to my girl's neighborhood. Wow, this has been crazy. All right, so coming up, you're going to see it. I don't know what's going on, but there's the school bus. <laughs> and there's a bunch of police flashies. <laughs> wow. Look at it. There's two police flashies. There's a school bus. And a freaking Jeep rear-ended a school bus. <laughs> oh, Wow! Oh, we really smashed that bumper in. <laughs> All right. Well, this over here is what's called Cape Henry Shores. This is my grandma's neighborhood. And wow, <laughs> that was fun to catch on camera. I was never expecting to catch that. I like that. Okay, so this is my grandma's neighborhood. And I'll show you your house in a second. Kind of got to go around a few things, but whoo, that's interesting. Okay, so here's the path up here. You see, it goes right across the street. See, we have to stop right here. See, the park walking across. That side to the left goes towards, like, the state park. It's called Seashore State Park. It's over where the bay is. To the right is where my girl and I used to walk. And about halfway down there was what we called the old park. Where we used to go on the swing set and the monkey bars and the slides and stuff. So, that was fun. I always thought that house was cool. My girl had one of the first ever split-level houses built in this neighborhood. 1966 to 2014. She was never going to leave her house. Anyway, so here we go. We go down here. This is 
the road my grandma lived on. This is an expensive neighborhood, by the way, if you can believe it. <laughs> it actually really is pretty expensive to live over here. And that's why it's so nice. I always love this area. So, I'll show you her church at one point, at some point too, when we go that direction. There's a few things I'm gonna do. But it's just for now because my video screwed up last time. <laughs> so, here we are. We're coming up on it now. That gray house. Can you see it? Alright, there's no one behind me. So, if you see this gray house right here? The two level gray house right there. It used to be white. For whatever reason, they painted it dark gray. That was her house. I have a video somewhere of the last time I was ever in that house. I also have one the last time I was ever in my aunt's house. But, yep. That was her house. They kept her same mailbox, which is cool. Yeah, it used to be white. I took my first steps in that house. And the house next door right there, that's Waits' house. I swam in their pool so many times. And then I swam in one on the other side, too. My grandma was friends with both her neighbors. So. And then she had another friend down here that had an awesome swing set in her backyard. <laughs> and a bouncy horse. It might have been that house, but I'm not, I think it was that house. Her name was Boots. Anyway, that house is for sale. <laughs> so, yeah, that was her house. I miss that house. She had shag carpet. <laughs> you can believe it. Yeah. Good times. Anyway, yep, this is her neighborhood. Yeah, there's a canal behind it, and my grandma had a boat for a while. It's called Sea Duty. That was a cool boat. Anyway. But, yep. This is her neighborhood. This is where she lived from 1966 to 2014. This is where... That is a cool car right there. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry. I love classic cars. Anyway. <laughs> that is for sale. God, that's probably a crap ton of money, too. Anyway. But, yeah. I took my first steps in that house. And, yeah. Many holidays in that house. Christmas, Thanksgiving. I even spent the 4th of July with her one time. <laughs> she got this 4th of July chocolate cake. I think it went to Food Line or something. And she made me eat a lot of it. it had this cool plastic star on it, though. It's a red, red, white, and blue plastic star. But, yep. So, there it is yet again. You can kind of see it. But, yep, that was her house. <laughs> For many, many years. And I swam in both of those pools on the neighbor's side. Both neighbor's pools. Yeah, I did. Anyway, but that's it. That's their house. And we're going to go back over to Lesnar Bridge. I want to see. Who is she yelling at? I want to see if you can. Uh, anyway, I want to see if you can see the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge. You should be able to see that bridge. I'm going back over. And then, uh, all right. So now we're gonna go over to Lesnar Bridge. I finally, have that video. We're gonna go. To the, we're gonna go over to Lesnar Bridge. We're back on Shore Drive now. But that is crazy. I wasn't expecting to uh, catch that. A Jeep chair. A Jeep. Jeep Wrangler rear end of the school bus. But up here is a food line and a Rite Aid. Those are my grandma's food line and Rite Aid. We went there plenty of times. So, right over there is her food line and her Rite Aid. But, so I'm going to attempt to go back over to the list. <laughs> I did not expect it to cut off on me again. So, and apologize for the sun. I'm going back in the direction of the sun, so there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the sun is right on it, but I'm at least going to try and, there we go, I'm at least going to try and get over to Lesnar Bridge, so, again, we're stuck at the light, so, there is a bunch of traffic again, what, it was not like this the other way, I'm going to attempt it, I mean, I'll get over there, but I think we might be a little bit stuck, not sure why there's so much traffic, I really don't.
All right, this light is slow. Holy cow. <laughs> Earth the light, thank you. I still got some stuff to do. I gotta plug my phone in to my car. <laughs> I still have to film some other videos. I gotta film some announcement videos. I gotta film two of them and I'm not sure where I can film those yet. So, that McDonald's has always been a McDonald's, if you saw it. This Mexican place right up here, it used to be a Pizza Hut, actually, and then that Dunkin's always been a Dunkin'. We used to go there every time we would leave my parents' house to go home. We would stop there and get, like, the donut holes. Yep. It was just modernized it, as usual. Why I have to make everything so boxy looking. I think it's ugly. But anyway thing so we're about to go back over Lesnar Bridge and then I'll hit the button again because I don't want to lose my video again that thing's annoying it likes to pop up so here we go again it's annoying all right yeah I think there's way more traffic on that side who is screaming weird Anyway, I didn't see anybody. That's Bobo's Chicken over there. That is a really good chicken place. They make everything from scratch. And they have their homemade ice cream with local produce, too. I love their stuff. You know, in case you're ever over here. <laughs> Bobo's is a great place to eat. Hey. We're getting ready to go over to Lesnar Bridge. There's always this light right before you go over the bridge. <laughs> Alright, I keep having to adjust it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there. <laughs> there with that. I know I'm in right in the direction of the sun, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it right now. I lost my going the other way of the Lesnar Bridge, so. <laughs> This phone has to cut off on me for some reason. Alright, we're gonna go back over to Lesnar Bridge real quick. Alright, here we go. way more traffic over there for some reason yeah you get to a certain part on the bridge and you look in the right direction you can see the Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnel especially when it's super clear so I don't know if you can see it or not <laughs> just look over there look to the right <laughs> yeah, I can see it if you look to the right you, you can see it <laughs> that's the bay Yep, this was Lesnar Bridge. They just recently re recently redid this bridge. So. Now we're back over here. I think that's about it that I wanted to show you from here. So, Well, I hope you enjoyed that little driving tour of where my girl used to live and a little bit of stuff in Virginia Beach. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget, don't forget to click that little bell icon so you know when this video is coming out. And all of our social medias will be linked in the description box below. And thank you for watching.